Welcome to the warm-up. Hey, everybody. I'm Neil Beasley. Another great week of Texas high school football gone by. Hey, but we got another week coming up. Time to get you warmed up. It may be the bye week for several Houston area districts, but we still have some incredible matchups, including two that happen tonight. Let's preview some of them in the lineup. It'll be a fun one at Wood Forest Bank Stadium tonight as Willis visits the Woodlands. Two 3-0 teams and the favorites in 13-6A going at it on a Thursday night battle. Willis is the defending district champs and have averaged over 45 points a game. The Wildcats have one of the most dynamic players in the Houston area with Jermaine Bishop. The junior can make plays in all three phases of the game and many times he scores in all three as well. The Woodlands are still a little salty about not hanging a banner the past two years. And despite the loss of Quanel Farrakhan to North Shore, the Highlanders are still very offensively gifted. They're averaging half a hundred points per game, with Jack Dalton taking care of things behind center. Expect the offenses to be explosive Thursday night, and the winner will have the inside track at a district title. Another great Thursday game is in 5A Division II, as Richmond Randall takes on Fort Ben Marshall. It's the 9-5A Division II opener for both of these teams, and it couldn't be any more juicier. Speed everywhere on the field in this game for sure. We know about the Buffs' speed. They're sending athletes to state for track year in and year out. Receivers Andre Friest and Jacaden Ferguson take that quickness to the football field and have helped Marshall to a 3-0 record, but it's their defense behind Caleb Chester and Isaiah Williams in the defensive backfield it's helped hold opponents to just 14 points a game. However, holding Randall to 14 points will be a chore. They're led by dynamic sophomore running back Landon williams Callis, who ran for almost 2,000 yards as a freshman. He's off to a great start again this year, too. Just the smallest of holes can lead to big yardage for williams Callis. Tyler Skirsbanek can make plays in the passing game as well, so this one should be a dandy. We caught up with another big time athlete on the gridiron in this week's Recruiting Trail. I'll say the academics, um, the communication with the coaches. Player, I would say I'm a hard working guy. You know what I'm saying? Off the field, I usually go fishing, play the game. On the field, I'm a leader. I'm a hard worker, I'm a quiet guy, very shy. That's why a lot of people didn't really know about me committing. I'd probably say I have a good, I don't want to say I don't have a 3.5 GPA. And that's about it, that's all I want to go, I want to have. In the, oh, in the ring. <laughs> Only a good legacy, a guy that comes back, come back to my community to show love. We can't get our cameras to all the big games this week, so here's a preview of some other huge matchups in the hype. Big one in the small school ranks as Belleville visits Hitchcock. The Bramas are taking on all comers in their non-district schedule. They already played and lost to 4A state power Salina, and this week they have Hitchcock before they face Columbus in week five. They're determined to make it to the 4A state title game again where they went last year. Belleville has that tricky misdirection offense led by D.D. Murray and Corian Hood that racks up yardage and points. Well, the defense is led by the best lineman in the state, D.J. Sanders, who picked up a nice scoop and score in last week's victory. Hitchcock can score as well. The Bulldogs have put up 71 and 61 points the past two weeks. Texas Tech commit Lloyd Jones III is behind center and his targets include Kelshawn Johnson and Chase Bruton. Make sure the scoreboard operator is wide awake Friday night because he'll be working hard. In 15-6A, Klein Collins is in desperation mode. No way head coach Adrian Mitchell expected his Tigers to start off 0-3. Oh 
But here we are. One of those losses was a home district loss as well. They take on Magnolia West and the Tigers have to get their defense figured out. Opponents have scored over four touchdowns a game against them and that's not Collins football. They'll depend on linebacker Trent Spence to make some plays defensively because starting 0-2 in 15-6A could be too much of an uphill climb to make the postseason. Magnolia West is in their first season in 6A. A perennial playoff team in 5A, they're testing their merit with the big boys. So far, Mustangs are one and two with a tough 14-3 loss to district foe Klein Forest last week. They'll hope quarterback Bryce and Broadway can provide some serious leadership behind center. Hey, that'll do it for today's show. Thanks for joining us. The coaches have spoken. So we leave you today with the 6A coaches poll. Go out and catch some great Texas high school football this weekend.